Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today we're going to talk about head lice. Makes your head itch just thinking about it, doesn't it? Uh, today I'm going to discuss, I get calls from time to time, especially now that the school season has started back up, everybody's going back to school, uh, and the threat of a head lice infestation is definitely apparent. Um, children that go to public schools or typically do pick up head lice from time to time. I know when I was young, uh, my sister brought them home to us and we had them and we had to go through all of the washing your heads with the special shampoo and uh, my mom went through all of our hair with a lice comb and it was it was awful. I remember it was just, it was really horrible and I didn't even have lice. It ended up that I didn't even have any in my head. Uh, my sisters uh, were the ones that had them, but um, and that's typical because what happens is when a when a uh, a girl goes to school, typically they have long hair, and their hair will touch the chair of their desk, and the lice will crawl up from the chair into their hair, and of course then they bring them home. Um, lice take about seven to ten to ten days to hatch their uh, from their eggs. And after that, it takes them another seven to ten days before they become an adult, able to bite you and, uh, uh, you know, spread more eggs and start the life cycle over again. Um, they, the, the thing about lice, though, people will call me from time to time and ask me if there's anything that I can do for a head, light in, the head lice infestation if, uh, you know, they need to hire an exterminator or anything like that. And the truth is, is that lice cannot live without a human host for more than one to two days. Uh, they usually die if they are off of a host for, like I said, more than a couple days. Um, they can't go without a blood meal for that long. They, they die off. They're not like bed bugs. And uh, there is, you know, there are chemicals that exterminators can apply to your furniture, like your couches, love seats, um, you know, what what's normally recommended, and this is what I recommend for everybody to do if you've got a problem with head lice. You take and launder all affected clothing. You take your bed sheets and you strip them off your bed, your comforters, sheets, um, you know, all of your bed sheets, bed linens, and wash them thoroughly. Uh, you know, in a use a dryer that will uh, dry for about 30 to 40 minutes on high heat and this usually will kill any head lice uh, on your clothing or your bed, bed clothes. Um, that's what I advise everybody to do. Now, um, I'll say this now, you want to ask your doctor if you do have lice on you if you've had problems being able to get rid of lice, sometimes the only way that you can get rid of lice is with a special shampoo from a doctor. I know that just last year, Lindane was still something prescribed by doctors. Lindane is one of the only uh, chlorinated hydrocarbons uh, left on the market. Chloridane was one of those as well for termites. So what I recommend is that you use, uh, is that if you're having a continual problem with a head lice infestation, is to have a doctor prescribe you Lindane. Lindane will uh, kill off the head lice and it actually does cause a buildup in the body so that you, uh, so if a new outbreak were to occur, they would die as well. Um, so anyway, I uh, that's that's mostly all there really is to say about it. Um, they're not very hard to get rid of. There are things you can buy yourself that you can treat your upholstered furniture with. If the the reason that I said you know they they come out with this upholstered uh, this spray for upholstered furniture, it um, it you could use it on mattresses, you can use it on beds. Um, it's typically uh, alcohol mixed with a uh, synthetic perethroid. Um, the 
you know, and that's that's safe to use. It won't stain your uh, beds. It won't stain your um, it won't stain your couches or your love seats or anything like that. And that's what I always recommend. Um, like I said, I do have pesticide that I can use to control head lice if it is a continual problem. If the schools are having problems with kids back and forth all the time, bringing the head lice back and forth to school, your children are bringing them. You know, I, I know that uh, we had two outbreaks at my house uh, when I was a child. So it was a continual problem with us. And I, I'd like to uh, state right now, I am sorry if anybody hears my daughter screaming and hollering in the background. She is having a pretty good time out there. And, uh, you know, she's four, so she's kind of energetic. But, but anyway, I told her I was going to be filming a video, and so she, of course, has to be as loud as possible. But um, anyway, uh, like I said, uh, the head lice can't survive uh, without a host uh, for longer than 24 to 48 hours so you don't have to worry if uh, you know if they're going to be in the house for weeks later you know oh no my child's gotten lice again it didn't come from your house it definitely came from somewhere else um, whether it's a school school bus uh, school buses have very high seats the thing is if a if a if a, uh, a lice can a louse lice singular is louse if a louse is on a bus seat and your child rides a bus home approximately 12 to 16 hours later they're back on the bus again for the ride to school and the lice can survive in the bus for 24 hours so a bus can get infested with lice and keep lice um school desks the chairs the high back chairs can you know the lice can be on the chairs and they can stay on the chairs uh, also another fact is the eggs won't properly hatch if they're not on a host so if you pick out the eggs and the lice out of your hair the the eggs without proper incubation on the host they die off and they won't be viable either. So that's usually what I recommend doing is just, like I said, launder all your clothes, launder all your bed sheets. If you're really concerned, you can call an exterminator. It's not, re I mean, it's not required. You don't have to have an exterminator come out and spray your house. Uh, it is something that you can totally do yourself. I'll link a few products in the description below that are uh, pretty effective for the use uh, and control of head lice. Um, and now as far as body lice, um, like I said, you want to go to a doctor, <laughs> you want to, you want to get yourself, uh, you know, make sure that you've gone to your doctor, make sure that you're doing everything you can. I know that can be a kind of an irritating parasite to have on you. And, uh, especially because a lot of times with head lice, it does attack children because they're back and forth in the school and they're around so many other kids. Uh, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up down there. Uh, if you really liked it, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It does help out the channel a lot. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to learn about or, you know, uh, we're kind of wondering about, uh, leave me a comment down below. I, uh, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have about head lice, uh, bed bugs, cockroaches, fleas um you know i'm i'm pretty versatile i've been in the business for uh nearly 30 years and actually next year will be 30 years i've been in exterminating my whole life i uh, i really enjoy the profession i like it so if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to ask my website is uh greenacrespc.com my facebook is green acres pest control llc and uh, look me up, send me a message. Um, I just try to think if there's anything that I've forgotten. Don't think so. Uh, oh, well, now I lost it. Oh, well. Y'all have a great day. I really appreciate it. Like I said, like my channel or uh, like this video if you like it. Uh, hit the subscribe button and I'll be 
seeing y'all later. Really appreciate it.